So good morning. Spent the night at a Walmart. I just want to talk about like my three styles of camping. Um, basically, if I'm doing something like not in the house, so like going out for drinks with friends, meeting some people, hanging out with people late at night, then I'll street camp. Um, but otherwise, if I'm not doing that and I'm in the city, I'm just going to go for a Walmart because it's just super convenient and like I love that I can have all my lights on and sometimes I meet people here too, which is really cool. I just like, I like the, the atmosphere here. It's very laid back. And now I'm so like over the fear of like being kicked out in the middle of the night that, uh, yeah, I'm completely relaxed at Walmart. Um, and then the last one is, yeah, like cool, uh, dispersed camping sites. Uh, and I don't really consider it like dispersed camping unless I can have a campfire. I don't always have a campfire. If I can't have a campfire, I don't really consider it boondocking. It's kind of like non-stealth stealth camping or whatever. But anyway, those are really the only three I ever go for. I don't uh, street camp if I don't have to because it's just, well, you know what? It really makes no difference. I just really like the big open space of the Walmart parking lot. The fact that I can get out and like lurk, look underneath the carriage of the van and work on the van and stuff in the morning. and It's just convenient. Anyways, um... I have to go sort out a shower here in, um, I'm up in Boulder actually. So I'm going to go use the YMCA here. Um, it's Monday. Now they had like a Tuesday thing where they would do every Tuesday, they would let you use it for free. But as far as I knew before that, it was always free. So I'm going to go in and, and see what I can't do today. And honestly, if they tell me that I have to wait till tomorrow, I just will because it probably will cost me like seven dollars to take a shower and it's not really like that seven dollar that's like a, a meal so i'll uh i'll just wait tomorrow anyway set the road side note so i bought an extra roll of reflectix and i've been making panels for my windows and so this one's done this is kind of what i'm thinking here these panels are dark denim on one side and uh Reflectix on the other. So on the outside, when I have this set up like this, it just honestly, it looks like the window's been blacked out. Um, and it's very clean looking. And then what I did is I put some Velcro mounts here, here, you know, four corners, and then you can just flip this the other way around so that when it's really hot out, this will reflect more heat out. And when it's cold out, like today, the black side's out. So yeah, I'm finding already a, a significant change just in temperature, and I only have a couple windows blocked. Um, I also, I'm going to do this window. I'll probably do the back windows eventually. Um, I've got this window done. Now, I hate these. They're just, they're not very sturdy, and they're very broken. So I'm throwing them out, and I'm replacing them with, like, these insulation. This is Champ, by the way. He likes to sleep up here at night. Oh, hi. Anyway, same kind of thing, just Velcro. And uh, yeah, it really makes this area a lot warmer at night. Plus I've got uh, Velcro covers for the, you know, those panels. I figured that was probably a good idea. I'll do the same thing for the vent over the stove too. I also, what I did is I removed all the light fixtures and sprayed spray foam insulation inside the wall here. So you can tell like by feeling all along here. Okay, yeah, so like this whole section is insulated now, but I can feel sections up there where it's a lot colder that definitely are not insulated. So I'm going to be probably drilling a couple extra holes to fill in um, that, uh, that stuff and then just patching the holes afterwards. I don't know. It's pretty much like the best case scenario given that these are like one plastic shell and I can't really remove them. Um, so Spray foam insulation just kind of gets in everywhere, and, uh, yeah. It's gonna work all right. It's better than nothing. This YMCA didn't have the same policy as previous YMCAs, which is kind of like everything else about traveling. Everywhere you go, even though it's the same company or a chain or whatever, it's never really the same. You're, you might as well go to places that, uh, you know, and sometimes, like, the other thing, too, is they'll post signs about things and then somebody will come and tell you that's not true or whatever. It just it doesn't matter. Life on the road is just full of uncertainties, and that's 
basically what I'm trying to get across here. I showed up to this YMCA. If I wanted to just use it, they were going to charge me $12 US. But if if they if they sat through their tour of the facility, which the, the employee really didn't want to do, but you know, whatever. Um, they give me a free three day pass, which I could use three separate t visits over the course of one week um, for free. And I didn't even have to sign a waiver form, which is kind of weird. Usually I have to sign a waiver form. So like I said, yeah, it's different everywhere you go. You never know. Anyway, I'm gonna get some food here. All your anxieties All of your pain All of your worries Nag at your brain Can't keep it within you It's okay to cry But I have decided we're gonna go check out downtown Denver so you don't really come to Denver for the downtown, let's be honest. It's kind of an adventure town, you go up to the mountains and stuff, but check it out anyway. Still gotta try. Still gotta try. Still gotta try. All of your dreams collide. Give face a day. Spent the last nickel You got nothing to say Can't keep it within you It's okay to cry In spite of all of your sadness You still gotta try Still gotta try so I've seen a lot I've seen a lot of van dwellers here in the city and uh, see a lot of like definitely homeless but not like stationary you know these are nomadic people that you keep seeing there's a lot of them in the city and you can tell they've got like decent gear on them so they're like the plan was to travel they just ran out of budget and they're doing what they can to get by, so it's not quite the same as the homeless people you see on other streets. It's a very weird vibe here in Denver. Uh, it's definitely like a hippie town, and in Boulder's definitely a college town. I love it. I love it. I could live here, I think. I could be a hippie homeless hobo. Ah, ah, ah. Champ, come here! Champ! Dog attack. Is that chewing? Where is it? What is it? Still gotta try. Still gotta try. One more, and then I get a rail. Don't throw it all away. Don't give up. Don't throw it all away. ourselves a little stealth camping spot what do you think you know 
it kind of looks a little cheesy on the inside, but on the outside it looks really good. So, plus it, I have noticed that it definitely keeps it warmer in here when it's cold out at night. So, I'm for it. Champ's just like really excited right now because I just bought, you know, every time, every time I buy dog food, every single time I buy dog food, he just goes like crazy. He didn't even like dog food that much, you know, because I feed him a lot of table scraps and I like to think that's what's keeping him healthy. But, um... Yeah, he just gets stupid excited, and then I can't feed him for like an hour, because I gotta wait till he calms down, because if he eats when he's excited, he'll like overeat, and then he'll puke. It's just an old dog, you know? You just gotta... I just... I... Anyways, I just... I got this cool stealth camping spot behind like a Buddhist temple, and I just put him outside. There's like a huge parking lot, and there's no one around, and he's just running around the van. Hey! Crazy pants, you calm down yet? Oh, okay. No, nope. you're just inside. Everything's exciting. This is just the best. Oh my god, look, food, 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 food. Oh, the tail, it's going crazy. How do you do it? You're nuts, buddy. You're nuts. Just calm down. It's not even it's just not even that big of a deal. I'm not gonna feed you, you're gonna puke. I love you too. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm so glad he's here with me, and I'm so glad he's on the trip. But when he's so excited like this. I swear, he just takes up like 15 times the amount of space that he normally does. Why? You just run this side, that side, push the bowls around. You're just so excited. You just... Hi! Hi! Oh my god. You are nuts! You're nuts! They just the honey. Not just the pain It's the everyday living You want to feel once again